Hello and welcome to the tutorial. My name is Ryan. Today I'm going to go over how I add tags to my Shopify store items uh, quickly and efficiently. And just so you know, I am just getting started with Shopify. I am a SEO WordPress developer and am moving into e-commerce. So I'm just like learning um, how to make you know this whole process more efficient and get my store to look how how I want it to look and stuff like that and I am delegating tasks to professionals and stuff like that uh, but something that I think I kind of need to do myself is the categorization of the products because to me it's going to be a very important thing my store almost has 10,000 products in it so I need people to be able to find what they need and as you can kind of see like right here like a lot of this stuff is very similar and i mean these should probably be variants instead but i had 10,000 you know just under 10,000 products on an excel sheet that i uploaded in here from the get go and i was not going to take the time to do all this so um you know maybe in the future this is something i do something i'd outsource to a va but let's get to the the video um today we're going over how to add tags um quickly and efficiently uh yes you know, uh, Shopify has its built-in bulk product editor and stuff like that. I, I think it's very slow personally, um, but maybe I'm not using it correctly. I don't know. But this, this is the way I would go about doing this. And I think this will be very useful to a lot of people, especially if you need to edit items in bulk and you just have a lot of stuff to do. So hopefully this helps. Uh, so we're, what you're going to want to do is go to your all products on your Shopify dashboard and stuff, export your uh products so then you have your excel sheet in the correct manner you know in the correct form that that you need it because it just came out of uh shopify so what's real important is these tags up here need to be exactly right when i uploaded this the first time i typed a couple of them in and i had a spelling error and that that field didn't go in right so uh it is an issue but uh, it's just, I'm going to give you a couple handful of tips here for uh, Excel. I'm not a beast at Excel in any way, shape, or form, but I am halfway decent at it. So if I wanted to just grab all of these and make them like full size, uh, I just, I held down uh, control there to add these to my selection there. But boom, I got them all. And then I'll just pick one and double click. And now all the, the cell contents are visible in here. So that's a little trick if you didn't know about that. Uh, not necessarily needed for this tutorial. I'm actually gonna make this smaller because we're gonna be looking at the tags. And then I'm gonna use like uh, the title here as a reference to add some tags to these and stuff like that. So uh, to get started, what I recommend is you know, click on your, your cell here and make a new column. So we'll insert a column. We'll go to the other side, we'll insert a column wham bam uh, and we are well on our way so here is our list of tags we have some products mixed up and stuff like that uh, excel has all kinds of sort features and stuff like that and ability to find and find and replace and everything so you can go about it like that if you needed to uh, but for this tutorial we are looking at we want to add some tags so i'm looking at this title like what tags can we add so a lot of these are foam uh, some of them are paper so the tags, paper cartridge. So these are all what pulled in from, you know, the document I got from my supplier. So uh, I don't like how they're all caps and stuff like this, but uh, I'm working on cleaning these things up over time. So what we're gonna do here is say I wanna add foam and pre-filter as additional um, terms for this one, right? Because foam and pre-filter. So that would make, make sense for tags so i'm going to actually start off with a comma because what you want to do is <clears throat> have all of your tags in a string like this so just to keep everything uniform for now i'm just going to keep them caps i'm not actually going to upload this but pre filter so i put a comma first foam comma pre filter because what we're going to do is merge this cell and this cell and get everything all in one so over here what you're going to want to do is equal sign this cell the cell with the original tags ampersand click on your next cell enter wham bam there we go so that is exactly how we need to upload it into um 
Shopify, well, it looks like it, but this is actually a formula still. So we have to make this not a formula, but we're not, we're not to that point yet. Let me get this back, I'm messing my thing up. Okay, so just understand this is still a formula. So this, this would not work right now uh, because we're gonna delete these columns to re-upload this back into Shopify. So this is not gonna work as is, but I do wanna continue and show you what else I'm gonna do here. So I'm gonna take this one, and what else does this apply to? So right here it applies to this one, so I'll paste it in that one, so I control C, control V, right there. Uh, so this one can take foam, and we'll say comma, no space, comma, air filter. Okay, so comma, air filter, so we'll take that, and we'll run that down through these, we'll get that. I guess I gotta do them one by one, whatever. Uh, foam air filter, foam air filter, okay. So these actually get it too, foam air filter. Uh, okay, so this one looks like paper. I don't know what this is doing here, it's annoying me. Uh, but this one's a paper filter, so we don't want foam on that one, so we're gonna skip that one. And we're gonna skip all of these and come down to foam air filter. So that'll get foam air filter, foam air filter, foam air filter, blah, blah, blah. This one down here actually gets foam pre-filter. So I'll grab that and paste that in. And this is gonna be, um, we'll just say air filter. I need to get my comma. I need to get my comma for the correct nomenclature. So air filter, boom, 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 boom. Okay, good enough. I'm gonna control C that. I want it to run down all these cells right here, control V. So depending on what is in this cell, it's doing it goes straight across, so it's taking this cell, this cell, and this cell for all of them, for each line item. So each one has whatever you put in here. So like I said, these are still formulas in Excel. So that's not going to work for what we're trying to do here. So what we need to do is control C this, come here, because we're going to replace these to get them back in our tags column. I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste right here as values. Now, notice the difference. This is a formula. Uh, what is going on? I don't want to do that. Get out of here. Okay. So, this is a formula on this one and now this is values. So these are just the values up here. So you see the difference? Formula, values. So that's really uh, the main thing you need to know. We'll delete that, we'll delete this, and now you're just left with your tags and all your new additions. So you will save this as a CSV, come back to um, your Shopify store, and then you'll import that CSV. And then Shopify will let you know if there are any errors in your file and stuff like that. And of course, you can double check it. Uh, let me show you one right here. Uh, 9.3, so this is product 9.6.3.5. So if we go to the store here, we're on product 9.6.3.5. And then here are the tags that came in. So pulleys, pauls, starter cups, WSR. We come back to here and there are those tags in that field. So that's just to show you that this works just like I said it would. Um, if for some reason that and is not working for you, uh, this right here also does the same thing. Comcat or concat. Concat. Oop, oop, oop. Concat. And then it's going to be a bracket like that. Is that what it is? Concat. There we go. And then you follow this uh, right here. So you go, say you want to put this one, and then you'd use a comma because that had a comma right here in the description so comma and this one 
and then you're going to close off your parentheses close off parentheses so it just combined those two cells uh, the reason there is space in between is because there is literally space in between right here there's spaces like somebody hit the space bar right here a whole bunch of times for no reason so that kind of messes uh, my spreadsheet up a little bit um, I'm sure there's a way to eliminate these extra spaces but just so you know Excel is considering that like you know it's not a character but it's a it's a space like it's, you hit the space bar for a reason it's gonna put a space there so just be aware of that like you really need to be exact but you probably already know that but essentially and um, the equal just click on your cells and click and for as many as you want and this concat do the same thing so you just got to know the know the name nomenclature I don't know if that's the right word but that's what it is uh, hope you liked it um, <laughs> You know, if we can help you out in any way with uh, your online presence or anything like that, we're always more than willing to lend a helping hand. Uh, we really prefer to work with uh, companies that are making money and just want to make more money and really know what they're doing and just want to work with a company they can trust. But that's that's us. We're, we're definitely not the cheapest. We're definitely not the most expensive either. Uh, but we do get we, we focus on local service business websites is what we do, like specifically lawn care companies, but HVAC, roofing, uh, plumbers, locksmiths, dentists, restaurants, anybody that serves their local community, that's like my cup of tea on WordPress. So I'm diving into Shopify. So this is just something that I learned that this is how I'm gonna update my 10,000 products tags by, <laughs> by doing this. So that's gonna be a fun day or days, maybe it's gonna be a week, but you know what I'm saying. So I really hope that helped Ryan with Optimize, getoptimizednow.com or optimize.design. It'll redirect you to optimize.design anyways. And yeah, until the next video, keep making money.